Uh, something you said earlier that I tell Jerry all the time. Um, when you say like in the comics now, they like talk too much. Jerry has me reading Immortal X Men, and every comic they just sitting in that boardroom talking, voting yeah. on stuff. I'm like, man, I was like, I'm bored. Exactly. Like, what a fight that! Somebody throw some hands, please. <laughs> But exactly. I liked it. I liked it because in Immortal, they were all extremely powerful mega level mutants, and they were talking about the um, ongoing struggle and an overview of everything within mm -hmm. the mutant world. So I, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed the political aspect of uh, Immortal X Men, though. So yeah, I yeah. Like you can mix that with something else. Go ahead. I'm sorry. And you know, you have to understand too. You know, you have an artist like, you know. Larry Strowman or Frank Cho, and you're going to give them a book in which the characters are just talking. <laughs> and these are phenomenal artists, and you don't want them bored. You know, you don't want them bored at all. So, yeah. you know, you want to give them something that, that, that's going to best use their talents, a story that's going to best use their talents. And uh, that's what you have to do. Yeah, I can't see an artist like Gary Randolph. Uh... <laughs> Um, making a um, book where they just stand still. I, I, yes. I, I need to see Carrie Randolph when he when the characters all moving and doing something. So, Mark, did you have something to say? No, no, no. That's the, he hit on it. Uh, yeah, like this. It, no, I don't have nothing to say. I, <laughs> I have nothing to add at this at this stage. <laughs> I am vindicated. <laughs> okay, 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 Kevin. I want to go back a little bit and talk about your amazing amazing movie career because you have been in as you know the movies of my childhood right. if you don't mind me naming some for a quick second you've right. been the mask the hulk batman forever um mm. and of course mm. underworld and you were actually a principal writer on on, on all four of the underworlds right uh, no, just the first one, the mm. first one, because I came up with the original concept and wrote the original screenplay. Yeah. So can you tell us what, what, you know, inspired, you know, Underworld? What, what, what was going through your mind at that time? Well, you know, a couple of things, you know, I had done some interracial dating, you know, that, um, you know, you always look at this, you know, the stares you get, um, and then the big 